the Summit bag, it works in so many ways. It's a four liter bag. You can put your underwear in there, your toilet paper in there. And then when you break your hand, you can just put that in there and it'll stay dry. Well, to date, I've been working at Curtis Thaxter for just about five full years, which is kind of crazy to think about. It's blown by really fast. In the past couple of years, I've started to do trials by myself, which definitely adds uh, a lot of additional commitment to my work here. On down days, I'm trying to root fine for my next trip in the mountains. I almost always have a uh, snow forecast for the weekend and the AVI report, which I read almost every single day. The other thing that I'm constantly looking at is the Higgins Beach webcam so I can see if the surf's up. And a lot of times in the winter, when you have a down snow day, the, the surf will be up. I feel really lucky to work where I work. I've got a great job, and even though it comes with more and more responsibility, there's still huge rewards. It provides me with the means to continue a lifestyle where I can take off and enjoy everything that Maine New England has to offer. The winter of 14-15 was a little different. Previous seasons and almost every year, we have our typical January thaws and rainstorms, but that season, it just snowed. And not only did it snow a lot, it stayed cold. In early to mid-February of 2015, we had a massive storm that dumped close to three feet on Portland and other coastal areas of Maine. Immediately, Acadia came to mind. You see the terrain up there and you know it is so good. Drove up to Mount Desert Island, took the three hour drive up the night before, passing accident after accident after accident and got the goods the next day. The wind was definitely a factor throughout the day. It was still really cold, but it was pretty wind affected. There's a daylight going under. I get up there and find out that Ryan had broken his wrist, but had wrapped it all up in all these winter socks and was still like completely game to go. I've always wanted to ski somewhere in New England with an amazing view of the ocean in the background and we finally got it. I mean, it's just really cool experience to be in Acadia with no people. It was a beautiful blend of the main coast and awesome cold backcountry skiing.
always wanted to get back up to the Chick Chocks to explore for an entire week, so March of 2015 was the time to do it after a huge year.